So I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I actually did a Dragon Ball Z X Adidas collab video like a couple months back. And that was showcasing all of the shoes that was supposed to be dropping through Adidas that featured different Dragon Ball Z characters. This included like Goku, Frieza, Cell. And there was concept art behind it and kind of you could figure it out from there, but there was no actual official images. Thankfully now there's official images out for the Goku and the Frieza and I think the Cell shoe. So we're going to be talking about that, taking a look because man, it's a lot different than what we talked about in that last video. These shoes are actually really dope and I'm excited to get into it with you guys. So yeah, Dragon Ball Z X Adidas, stay tuned. Aloha YouTube, what is up? Untied Hawaii here coming at you with a review video for the Dragon Ball Z X Adidas collab. Like I was saying in the intro, these shoes are a lot different than what we saw previously. And you know what? I honestly think that's a good thing. The shoes that we talked about before, especially like the Goku and uh, the Frieza is kind of actually matching pretty close, but especially the Goku, it's my expectations for that were a lot different than what's actually come out now. So yeah, we're going to be going over the model, show you guys the official images. We'll be going over retail pricing, release dates, all of that good stuff. So, I'm just glad it's a lot better than what it looked like before, man, because it was bad before. It was bad. So anyway, this is the actual image of the Goku ZX500 that will be releasing in August. There's actually no official release date for this shoe yet. The retail pricing will be set at $150. And as you can see, it looks a lot different than what we initially thought it was gonna look like. My biggest concern in that last video was that the shoes did not accurately represent the character that they were supposed to portray. I think the DBZ community is just a very, very like, oh, it's a tight knit community, especially that it's been going on for so long. You know, Dragon Ball, the series as a whole has been going over for like 20 plus years now. And it's still going strong with Dragon Ball Super, with the movie that's coming out later this year. And I, and I believe it's called like Dragon Ball Heroes that's on right now. I don't know, there's only a couple episodes. I haven't really got too much into that. So the community wasn't very happy with what the shoes look like. I mean, I went through the comments in that last video and it was pretty across the board negative so yeah people weren't very happy about it and i think the goku model was one of the ones that people had the biggest concerns for reason being is because he's mother goku man he's like the protagonist he's supposed to be the it guy savior of the universe you know whatever so for him not to have a shoe that like really resonates with the audience it's it made it really bad but when we look at the actual model with the official images now it looks a lot better than the concept art that we saw previously. If you look at both of them side by side, they're kind of almost lined up, so the leaks were pretty accurate. However, the details is what makes it much, much better in my opinion, much better. One of the main ones that stuck out to me is this little Nimbus cloud that you can see on that front left toe box. That is just a little shout out to Dragon Ball as a whole. I don't think Goku used the Nimbus cloud too much in Dragon Ball Z, maybe in the early episodes, but for the most part, once he got like instant transmission and stuff like that, it was a done deal. You don't really need Nimbus anymore. But it is a nice little shout out to Goku as a character and what's cool about this man is that these three stripes over here when you look at the official images it has like texture to them where it's like frayed a little bit and it looks worn and those three stripes are actually supposed to represent his belt or whatever it's called that kind of like ties his gi up together and stuff and that was just a cool little added feature in my opinion that made it really stand out and go you know what that's cool they actually took time to go in depth on how this should look so Another great example of how this shoe is upgraded from what we saw previously. And just the orange as well is a very close color to his gi. So it looks a lot better than what I thought it was going to be in terms of color and detail. So I'm almost positive that the symbol on the back or that kanji on the back is actually says Goku. It's not a Kame House reference or anything like that. It's what he wears on his gi, I think, from when he's fighting in Namek all the way up to when he's fighting the androids and stuff. So yeah, it's on his house, I think, as well in the show. So that's pretty cool. Another small detail that kind of shows that it's Goku. And I'm not actually sure what it says. I think this is Katakana. I'm not specific on what it says though on the bottom heel. If you guys know what that means, put it down in the comments below. But also just another nice added detail that represents, you know, it's a Japanese anime. So we're going to add more aesthetics like that to this shoe. So really great concept in my opinion. And it kind of brings everything together, adds more depth as well. It also is going to have boost technology. So it's a lot better than most shoes that you're going to be wearing out on the street and stuff. So not a bad concept for me. I think it was an upgrade from what we saw previously. And that's a great thing. What's funny about this shoe is that there was actually a misconception that they released this shoe that had orange colors called the Goku Young One which I already knew from the get-go it was not the Goku collab because it was not the same model that they released earlier. But because it was orange and it had 
you know, some reminiscent vibes to Goku. It People bought it and they're like, okay, this is cool, it's Goku. Unfortunately, that's not the case. It was never an official Goku shoe. The Young One model is actually reserved for the Frieza model that we'll be seeing right now. So like we were just saying about the Young One model, the Young One model was actually reserved for the Frieza shoe. Frieza's model is actually very, very accurate to what we saw in previous images that were leaked before. I, I think it's actually almost exactly perfect of what we saw versus what we're getting. One of the things that did stand out to me though is that you can kind of make out the letter F, I believe, when you look at like over here on the tongue very bottom of the tongue there's like a little f over there not sure if it's supposed to like represent frieza f for frieza or whatever but that was something that we did not see in the images before so another little added bonus and you can also see from that view that the insoles for each shoe have like dragon ball z themes inside so I'm pretty sure all of the shoes across the board are gonna have that same kind of insole. So just one of those things that make it stand out a little bit more from the regular Adidas Young One model. So the Frieza shoe, it's all right. Um, Frieza as a character, he's hyped. Uh, arguably one of the best villains in the Dragon Ball Z universe. So it's, it's cool, you know? So his model is not that bad. It's functional of a shoe. It's purple, pinks, and white. So it's a lighter shoe. Good for the summer right now, overall. Not really one that I'm looking forward to, especially when Goku shoe is so much more hype now, you know? So, but yeah, if you guys like it, cop it. It'll be the same retail pricing of $150, I believe. So that should be dropping same time next month. No official release date, but it will be dropping in August. And so for the last leak, we actually got a look at the Cell Pro Fear model. And the Cell model looks almost accurate to what we saw in the leaked images previously. I think that that knit upper, there's like more texture there now. You can actually see like a lot more green depth and purple depth, which is nice, you know, it's not just a straight up color. There's like actual texture in there because if you look at Cell's character model, I mean, he's got like a lot of spotted blacks in there. It's green for sure, but it's not like a straightforward green. So I think that's nice. It shows a little bit more like, you know, closeness to the actual model of Cell. So that was a good touch. Again, you can actually see a way, way, way better picture now of that insole where it has a lot of Dragon Balls on the shoe. It says Dragon Ball Z right there. It says Adidas Originals in Dragon Ball Z font above that. So. Pretty cool, I like that touch. Um, it does make the shoe a lot more unique, even if you can't tell from the outside. Also, one of the things that were leaked when you could see that cell model was the box for these shoes. And the boxes look dope, guys. They look great. Right on the top, again, it says Adidas Original Dragon Ball Z collab. And I don't know, you can't really tell. You can see cell in this picture right here, but you can also see the feet of Frieza. So I'm not sure if each individual box is gonna have its specific character in that same corner where cell is right now. But I don't know, either way, it's a very dope box. It's very original. You can see the inside lining has again, more like lightning and Dragon Balls in there. So that's kind of cool. So there's no official word yet on when the Pro Fears are gonna drop, what the retail pricing and stuff is gonna be, but it is newer technology. So I'd expect it to be a little bit higher than that 150 price point we saw for the other previous shoes. Anyway, if you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, Obviously the collab is gonna get you guys super hyped. It's nice seeing the official images now versus what we saw in the past because I know the community just was not feeling it before. It didn't look great, people weren't very hyped over it. And again, they still have no Trunks model, which is irritating me because you know Trunks is the boy, he's the he's the best character in the whole series. It's not even an argument, man. He's the best character in the series. Don't at me, it's, pff, this comments is gonna be lit. Comments is gonna be lit. But anyway, hoping that they do more of these in the future. Again, they have a lot of different models that didn't release yet as well. I know they still have to go over the Gohan model, the Shenron model. There's a whole bunch of other ones they haven't shown yet. But as those images appear and stuff, I'll make more videos about it because some of those other shoes, they weren't very well pictured in the leak. So I'm hoping that there's a lot more depth like we saw with the Goku model when they actually released. Anyway, let me know in the comments below if you guys are gonna cop these shoes. These shoes are coming out at a great time because Dragon Ball Heroes is still going strong every week or so or every two weeks. It feels like it's very long in between episodes. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching. This has been Untied Hawaii talking about those Adidas Dragon Ball Z shoes. Until next time, stay humble, stay blessed. Take care, guys. I'll see you. Aloha. Shoots.